Hello, Gary Stearman here, and uh, I'm in studio with Bob Ulrich today. We're going to talk about Future Vision 2020. Uh, a few changes are in the offing, right, Bob? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we have a big announcement today. Actually, you could call it a re-announcement. Yes. Uh, we, uh, due to COVID-19, have rescheduled Watchers Weekend. Future Vision 2020 has been moved from June 18th through the 21st through October 22nd through the 25th, nine days before the presidential election. Now, Gary, what do you think about that? Well, I think uh, a, a week, week and a half before the election is going to be a time when everybody is glued to the news networks because it's going to be an exciting countdown. And you know what? There will be a lot of prophetic speculation preceding the next election. There's no doubt about that. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time. And of course, the gathering of prophecy teachers is always an exciting event in and of itself, but it's going to be even better this year. Now, a lot of you have questions about uh, your registration. Uh, we've had uh, close to 500 people who've registered previously for the conference, and we just want you to know that those registrations are still in place. Uh, we're still honoring those. We've got about 300 seats left at the event. I uh, hope you can join us in October, but if you can't, it's not a problem. We'd be happy to give you a refund if you like. But the good news is we have a great conference coming up. We do, just a few and months. of course it's in Colorado Springs at the Marriott. Uh, many of you have uh, joined us there before. It's a wonderful location, and uh, we hope to see you. Uh, we're going to have uh, people like Tom Horn. Of course, L.A. Marzulli will be there. Uh, and. The beautiful thing about going to a conference like this is that you can actually introduce yourself to people like Tom and L.A. and uh, just ask your own questions, talk to them. It's a great opportunity. Well, our conferences are a little bit unusual compared to most. Uh, we're going to have 22 speakers with us this year. Uh, Tom Horn, wow, the, we call him the stem winder. And we're hoping to get Tom to produce uh, a message this year on the sons of God in Genesis 6. He's actually written about that in our magazine this mm -hmm. month. And a, a subject that uh, is controversial to some, but boy, I've never heard uh, a message like Tom presents it on that subject. Absolutely. And that's going to be exciting. L.A. <clears throat> Marzulli. He's still on the trail, Bob. Always. And you know, I, in fact, I, I spoke with L.A. just yesterday on the phone, and he, he had some really exciting new discoveries, which, by the way, I'm, I'm going to remain totally silent and, and let him break these uh, to, to the, his next audience. But every time L.A. gets on stage, there's always something new. Well, I can tell you, I'll, I'll give a little bit of the secret away. Uh, I took a trip here about a year and a half ago with L.A. to the island of Malta uh -huh. and the island of Gozo. And the things we saw on those islands, Nephilim architecture, on steroids, uh, underground cities, places we went that we really couldn't believe what we were looking at. And I'm hoping to lure some of those pictures out of LA for the upcoming conference. Bill Koenig. Yes. Bill Koenig, I think, is busier than usual these days, Bob, because there is so much going on in Washington. And Bill's understanding of blessing versus cursing, you know, God blesses the nations. And those who uh, uh, contradict uh, his clear teaching in the Bible, those who go against God, are generally sanctioned by the Lord. And, you know, Bill picked up on this years ago and has written books about it. And it's amazing what happens to nations that disobey the Lord. Well, it's interesting to, uh, to see some of the political side of Bible prophecy. Uh, and Bill, of course, is a White House correspondent. Right. We're also going to have Bob McGinnis, uh, Lieutenant Colonel McGinnis, with us. Uh, he has a new book coming out, and he's uh, exploring the deep state and some of the things we're seeing in the news today, nine days before the election. I cannot wait to hear what he has to say. Absolutely. You know, it, talk about being in the belly of the beast. Uh, he, he is in a place, uh, I don't particularly envy somebody like that, but I'm glad that we have someone there who is a, uh, a voice uh, on our side. Let's put it that way. Bob is a faithful Christian, 
uh, who has uh, a particular vision of the halls of power, and I think you really want to hear what he has to say. You know, uh, Tim Alberino is going to be with us too, and I have to tell you, he's working on a new book. I love the theme of this book, Bob, because he talks about <clears throat> the fall of Satan, the fallen angels, and the, the tumultuous rolling effect down through the ages uh, that, that reaches our day. Uh, and, and he's got a particular viewpoint that, I, that hasn't been aired very much, and, and you're going to get a chance to hear what he has to say, and I think you'll be amazed. I think what I find most interesting about it is he talks about the destruction of the solar system. You know, what we see today is not what God originally created. Right. There are evidences of things in our solar system that uh, make us wonder about that whole fall of Lucifer in the and ancient we're past. And we're still feeling the effects of it today. And I, and I think all this is coming to light precisely because we're living in the last days. Billy Crone. Uh, well, what can we say about Billy? Uh, you just put him on stage and he has more information in three minutes, I think, than anybody else you've ever heard. And he's just getting started. Uh, yeah. he, uh, I spoke to him here a day or two ago and he is now working on a whole series on artificial intelligence. Uh, things are changing so fast. He just had a series on hybridization and the things going on in biological uh, laboratories all over the world. You know, the whole hybridization yeah. and then the AI phenomenon has really taken over the world and Billy is on top of it. He is, and he, by the way, has uh, some kind of special researchers that reach out for him. So uh, the information that he brings is really uh, top drawer, uh, really very late information. And uh, he is not giving up, believe me. Now let's look at our traditional uh, prophecy teachers. Thomas Ice, yep. Bill Salas, uh, Don Perkins. I mean, these guys are all teaching the Bible at an exciting level. Uh, I mean, we're living, we do believe we're living in the end times. I know all three of these men are going to bring something really fascinating. And you know, Bob, it's, it's really interesting uh, to have people like Larry Allison, too. I mean, uh, up until a few years ago, uh, Larry had not really uh, gotten out and, and made the rounds, you know, speaking tours and so forth, but he's a, um, an amazing speaker. Not only does he talk about <clears throat> the things of God from a, a very high spiritual level, but he also uh, goes back and, and does a wonderful job of explaining the early history of planet Earth. He has one of the best uh, you, the best presentations I, I can even think of. Now you may not be aware of this, but he has a new book coming out and what he's going to be presenting at our conference is a whole dissertation on heaven, what heaven is actually going to be like. So I'm really excited to hear what Larry has to say. He's a tremendous communicator. Derek and Sharon Gilbert, I can't imagine what they're going to be talking about in October. Well, uh, Sharon, having uh, completed degrees in biological sciences, guess what she's going to be talking about? She is pretty much an expert, extremely well read uh, in the academic papers uh, of, uh, shall we say, virulent diseases. She understands biology at a molecular level, and, and uh, we really want her to get up and explain to us what in the world has been happening all these months and years. And then we have our resident scholar, Ken Johnson. And where Ken has been going for a long, long time now is back to the original writings right. in the Dead Sea Scrolls. And some of, the, some of the things he's been digging out about the Hebrew Roots Movement, uh, the rapture of the church, autobiographies of a lot of the Old Testament patriarchs. I mean, you read some of these things and you realize that he's the only one doing this from a Christian perspective. He is. And he, uh, I think, is a step ahead when it comes to really understanding not only the culture of the first century, but the history that led up to that culture. And when he speaks on these things, you're, you're going to hear th uh, dates, times, places, historical events that you've never even uh, guessed about before. I mean, things that, that, that just... It's almost like he pulls them out of the air, but no, he doesn't. He pulls them out of <laughs> documents, and he digs deep to find those documents. Now, we have two other guys who are really living the dream. In fact, it's a dream a lot of people have. Jeff Kinley and Todd Hampson. 
Uh, if you're not aware of it, they've actually teamed up together now and they have a little program called the Prophecy Pros. And what they're doing is they're going into churches around the country and they're teaching Prophecy 101. They're encouraging the pastors to start teaching Bible prophecy. Both of them are going to be with us. And I'm sure they're going to have tremendous uh, presentations. In fact, Jeff has a new book that's just coming out, uh, Conversations with the Antichrist, mm. an interview with the Antichrist, an to be specific. Wow. And uh, I can't wait to read it and see what he has to say. A name just came to my mind, I'm, and I'm really glad it did. Uh, and his, his name is Ryan Peterson. From the very first moment that Ryan showed up, and, and then when people began to see what he was writing, and, and myself included, uh, he has a special handle on, uh, I guess you would call it the hidden history of the ancient days of the Bible. And he's, he really has a way of putting things clearly, concisely, uh, so that you can understand what was going on and how that led up to the coming of Christ. So Ryan's going to be there. It's going to be good. I hate to leave anybody out. Dr. Michael Lake has been with us, always one of our most popular conference speakers, dealing many times with biblical archaeology, you know, the secrets of Jericho, the Tower of Babel, just a fascinating guy. Carl Teichrib, just... Uh, what can you say about Carl Teichrib, Gary? Research, research, research. <laughs> he's got a lot of time up in the frozen tundra in, in uh, Canada. He, he's got time and he's got an extensive library and, and uh, very scholarly and yet very readable and very listenable. When, uh, when you hear him speak, uh, you, you're just going to want more and more, I guarantee it. Last but not least, Nathan Jones from Dave Reagan's ministry, Lamb and Lion. Uh, Nathan has a new... Uh, uh, a new presentation on the angels of the book of Revelation, yeah. which I've actually seen, which is just incredibly fascinating. Now let's talk about Colorado Springs for just a, just a moment. Uh, I lived in the Springs for about six months back in 1993, right before I went into the ministry full time. And uh, boy, my wife and I hated to leave. I mean, we loved to leave because we were going into the ministry, but when we crossed the border from Colorado Springs in Oklahoma, my wife burst into tears. It's a familiar story because we love the spring so much. Yeah. It was such a beautiful place. Garden of the Gods, Pikes Peak, the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, the U.S. Olympic Training Center, uh, the Air Force Academy, which I know you've oh, yeah. been to more than one time. Oh, yes, I have. <clears throat> I'll tell you something, Bob. From the Marriott, right where our meeting is taking place, you look to the west and you see the sun setting over Pikes Peak. And it's worth it all to see one sunset over Pikes Peak, right? <laughs> I have to tell you, I, uh, first time I ever visited, I got off the airplane at the Colorado Springs Airport. And we walked out of the terminal outside, and we just looked up into this crystal clear blue sky with this gigantic 14,000 square foot mountain in the background, right. and our lives changed forever. Oh, yeah. We've never seen anything like that in our life. My point is, when you come to the Springs, make it a vacation. Take a few extra days and, and see Colorado. Uh, October 22nd, there might just be a little nip in the air. It's still beautiful weather, sunshine, clear skies, mountain air. What's not to like? What's not to like indeed. Now, tell everybody how they can uh, get connected to this meeting. Real easy, just head over to prophecywatchers.com. You're gonna see a big orange banner with the big mountain in the background. Click on the banner, it'll take you to a registration site. You can register for the conference. We're actually going to have two lunches. We're going to have two dinners that are special events with uh, yet to be announced speakers, but you'll hear about those speakers very soon. Uh, the conference itself lasts for three days. Uh, it's a great time of fellowship, great time to meet uh, like-minded Christians, which kind of hard to find Christians who, uh, who are in love with Bible prophecy like we are. But uh, you know, in the environment we're in right now, that seems to be changing. There's a new level of interest in the end times. Uh, and by the way, there's a good reason for that. It's going to be very, very exciting. Again, leading up to the election, uh, it's going to be an exciting time to be uh, in a convocation with like-minded believers. And we're looking forward to seeing you there. Bob, thanks a lot. And uh, I'm Gary Stearman. I hope to see you <clears throat> at the meeting at the Marriott. It's called Future Vision 2020. 20. I'll see you there.